This is Vittorio Martinelli, and I'm serving notice that um, I am not going to get beat six love, six love, six love by the Ohio Dental Group led by short in stature, long in, well, stubbornness, Dr. Tim Troiano of Bethel Road, where he wrote me a letter threatening me after I've lost five teeth. I'm less five teeth after 12 years of consistent dental procedures done by Ohio practitioners, of which I spent over $100,000. And I contacted these five practitioners asking for a partial refund, partial refund. And Dr. Tim Triano, in the most professional way he could, basically told me to go fuck myself and that I better straighten out, soldier, otherwise I'm going to wind up in Guantanamo Bay. That's exactly what he told me in the context of a letter that you can see on the net. This is Twitter. The net. Vittorio Martinelli. He basically said, listen, you fucking wannabe tooth person, you are not worthy of teeth. You are a Guantanamo Bay prisoner. And if you ever raise your voice to me again, you will be caned a hundred times. That's basically what this letter said to me. This letter basically said to me, Oh, so you think you're Superman? Come here, motherfucker. I'll piss on your cape. And you'll use it to cry your eyes out, Wonder Boy. Because I'm going to put girly panties on you. And my staff will beat you like a little bitch. That's basically what that letter said to me from, the, from Tim Troiano. That letter from Tim Troiano basically said to me, Oh, you're the Batman, huh? Well, listen... I am the midget eraser and you will no longer exist with teeth on this planet earth for I am the number two pencil and I'm going to rub you out with my eraser head. That's basically what that letter said. That letter basically said, oh, so you think you're, an, you think you're an astronaut and you're going to have a smile? I don't care how much money you've paid my people. We are shooting you with our Atari, Atari laser guns, scope down, and you're lucky you can fucking breathe, soldier. You are circumcised, coronized, plagiarized, deminimized, chasterized, osterized, and pureed. And I drink it and I give it to the wolves. That's what that letter said. That letter told me, teeth? You never told us you wanted teeth. Why would you think we'd give you teeth? You're far too good looking now. If we gave you teeth, how would we get laid? That's what that letter said, that, that letter said to me. That letter said, don't ever, ever, ever come to any dental office in Ohio paying money expecting to leave with more teeth than you came with. Don't ever do that to us because we never promised you and anything you signed said we're not responsible for anything we do and no we don't give refunds. Why would we give you a refund? How can we pay for our strippers? How can we pay for our mistresses? How can we pay for our two week golf vacation that we spend 40 grand on because we have Heidi and her sister for two nights giving us massages? That's what that letter said to me, Ohio Dennis. So here's the notice, Dr. Triano, I'm already served, Judge Judy, so I will be having a service this will not be six love, six love, six love like you anticipated. Because I'm really not wearing girls' underwear. And although I've been nice, maybe I should have made my point like 
Italian village style where we go for a walk and we talk about it. And I say, listen, I have an offer for you. I've given you money. I want my teeth. Otherwise, you may be missing teeth. And then you would have said, oh, this guy wants teeth. I didn't know that. I thought he just wanted to give me money so I can go to the strip club. So, Dr. Rapaski from Dublin, I expect to hear from you on The Difference Maker. There's videos. Dr. Haas, I hope you've grown since I've seen you. You're a little guy too. I don't know how you thought that I wear frilly underwear and I don't deserve teeth. Maybe you thought I was a two-year-old baby and just cutting, I just needed my two front teeth. Because you were 0 for 3 and I'm missing teeth. I'd like my money. Dr. Butler, most consecutive swing and misses at, at, so if this was baseball, you went like 0 for 36 with me. You would have been sent back to the minors. And yeah, I did want teeth. And even though you gave me twice strippers as dental techs, and, and I know that for a fact because the one dental assistant even said, oh, this bitch, she shouldn't even be here. She told me that. And then you fired her to keep the stripper on. I hope you come around and see it my way. And then Dr. Vermis, you charged me 40 grand for these, just for this. I didn't want to buy a horse. I had nothing to do with that, that deal. So you buy a horse for 85000 I get stuck training Kathy Osborne for years trying to pay it back. And the four-tooth bridge you installed was all blown up. It, it barely made it. It didn't even make it. It never lasted what it should. And Dr. Amini from Clintonville already told me that all you guys are horrible and how could she how could you leave me like this after spend I've been told by at least well one Dr. Butler two Dr. Amini three Dr. Matthews they've never seen anyone with so many dental procedures in their life in their whole existence than me I strongly suggest that these dentists and surgeons involved in endodontists come to terms with me not being a homosexual. I hope you can come to terms with me not being gay or a pedophile. If we can come to terms that I'm just a straight heterosexual because you all seem to be befriending Bruce Reedy of SDG who's a stone-cold criminal creep that I put up on the net. Vittorio Martinelli, time after time after time, and somehow he exists. And his partner, Steve McCollum, who also has a pedophile background, and Phil Massinobli allowed them to continue so I must be the only heterosexual male left in the state of Ohio. So I hope we can get around somehow that I don't suck dick. Somehow I hope we can get around that point before we get to Judge Judy. Because frankly, I can bring that up. I can bring up that everyone is lewd in sexual nature. And I'm being oppressed because I'm a straight heterosexual. This is the twilight zone of the pig face. Where because, listen, if you took a poll, I'm a good looking guy. I don't care what, I don't care what planet you go to. I'm a good looking guy. And if I don't get my teeth, believe me, there's going to be a judge that sees me and goes, okay, this guy spent $100,000. He's conscientious. None of it was cavities. And they're telling him to get in line, soldier, before we send you to Guantanamo Bay and we get you court-martialed and we bring in Jack Nicholson? 
Who ordered the code red? Who ordered the code red? Did Dr. Butler order the code red so he can have a weekend with his friend Chuck down at the boys' exercise club? I want my money. Simple as that. And I don't want to be prejudiced against because I'm a Roman Catholic heterosexual male.